All right, so today um, I'm going over very basics of um, if you're going to get into chain mail. And the first weave that I learned was this Byzantine one. Um, so it's, it's fairly straightforward. You definitely need to um, practice, but it's doable for a beginner. beginner. Um, I have some examples of Byzantine weave right here. Where's my tricolor one? Oh, right there. All right, so when you first get jump rings, they'll come in focus. Okay. okay, they'll come with a gauge. That's how thick the, the metal will be. They come with a diameter, so these are 18 gauge and three and a half diameter. If you um, if you have any understanding of like piercings and the gauging of the piercings, it's the same uh, measurement. Um, and then uh, this one ounce means that uh, I bought an ounce of it. Generally, small items like this will be sold by weight and not by count. They'll come to you and they are, okay, so you can see it's neither open nor closed all the way. So what I like to do is try and figure out how much I need open and closed for the project I'm doing and and that can take time to figure out how much you need for a project to be open and closed um, but generally I will buy uh, I bought like a huge pack of these and I'll put open and closed and so I know if I need uh, open for this project I can go to this one all of them are already open I've done that before or you can open as you go. Some people prefer that. I have this bigger one to show you the proper way to open and close. Okay. So, let's see, let me close it. Um, actually, let's talk about these tools. There are two tools that I use pretty regularly. There are other tools that are important. Um, so this one is a flat nose plier. This one is uh, more rounded. Both of these are for jewelry. So the more delicate stuff like this, you won't scratch it. If you try and use normal pliers on these, you'll definitely scratch them up. Um, and, and the ones that I buy personally are copper with some sort of color plating. Um, so as soon as you scratch it, it becomes like a bright orange, which is not what you want unless you want orange. <laughs> um, other people also use like a pliers. I don't have like, I think I do have a jewelry pliers, but I generally don't use pliers. I have very long nails, but you can use pliers to help you pick, pick things up. Um, okay, where's my big, big one? Here it is. Okay, so I have this ring, I've just closed it. Here's how I'm going to open it. I figure out where the, the, the break in it is. Right, so it's up here. I'm holding this one with my um, non-dominant hand. And then with my dominant hand, I'm going to take the other side. And you wanna make sure that you are opening and closing on the same plane so that it's always a circle, whether I open it, um, how many times, but when I close it back up, it'll still be a circle. 
if you don't open and close on the same plane, if I go like slightly this way or slightly this way, when I try and put it back, it might end up being all ovular or other shapes you don't want. Um, I also am a big fan of this tool. This is a jump ring ring and um, it has different size slots for the different gauges you're, you might be using. And you just put that here and again, uh, twist on the same plane, but you can just open it like this. Some people keep it on their fingers and do it that way. This one's a little big, but um, yes. So that is how you open and close. Um, I also realized most of the jump rings I have are very small. So for this class, I brought in some curtain rods, okay? So you're gonna start your Byzantine weave with two, two, and two. And the goal is to connect these two to this one. Which one? Right? So first, I'm going to hold it like this. I'm going to push these to the side. And remember, these are the ones that you want to hook. So when you push these to the side, then you have this here. But you want to separate them so that you can hook these two. I realize that my curtain rods are clear and confusing and not the same color. So I do have... Um, picture here so I can pull it up. There we go. Okay, so I have um, two of one color, two of a different color, and two of a different color for this particular picture. And then you're going to, okay, so here you're going to want to hook on to yellow. So he separated, the, or she um, has separated the, the yellow and then you have the purple. And then through the middle of the purples, you're going to hook the yellows. So I'll show you what this looks like here. Again, here I have my two. Uh, actually, let me. Hopefully this is going to make it less confusing. All right. So now I have the two, two, two. And the ones I want to hook are these yellow ones that I've just marked. I'm separating these two. Separate. And then through these, you want to hook the ones you want. So I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, so I put one there. Put it here. So when you separate your yellows, you're hooking um, them to your yellows, but through these purples. Okay. I think that's 
I messed this one up. <laughs> Let me try with not curtain rods. I need curtain rods that are different colors. I'm confusing myself. I use these because they're bigger. Okay, let's see. So here I have a, a bracelet I'm making. Let's say these these two black ones here at the end is what I'm going to be starting my two two two. Okay. Okay, so I have these ones. I'm going to be hooking two yellows and two more yellows. So now I have focus. Sweet. Okay, so you see at the end near the top, there's two blacks and two yellows. Here I'm going to separate these two yellows. Okay, and then I'll be trying to hook them through these middle two yellows. Mm -hmm. Oops. Focus, there we go. There's two yellows that I've separated and I'm gonna try and hook them through the middle two. Focus. There we go. So I've separated the two yellows and I've hooked it through the two Middle ones. Okay. Close that ring. So now my two black are still here, and the two middle yellows are this one, and then the the yellows that we've actually hooked through stay on the side. Um, depending on your gauge, um, to make it look um a certain way you might need to add more here i have um they're bigger rings but they're not thicker so i've had to put three here and then um instead of two 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 i've had to do three four four but this is a very um versatile weave and i've I've seen it um, used for a lot of different things. Wow, focus. Okay, here we go. 
Um, I'm going to attempt the this, this thing quote the um, yikes curtain ring curtain ring. Try again, try again, try again. So I have one, two, I have two, two, and two. I would like to hook to these two with these two. Okay. So I'm going to hold it, separate these and pull it through here. And then I'm going to hook these right here. All right, <laughs> so I poked the two yellow ones, and so now it should do the thing. Okay. Um. These two through here. Okay. Sorry. Okay. So now that I've hooked these two to the yellows, it'll sit like this. So this is this is ultimately your goal on a smaller scale. The tricolor. The the blue and the green are like these. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Um, I will also be um, dropping links on the event page for the kits I use. I use. Um, We've got mail, and every time you order one of the kits, it'll give you instructions with these cool pictures. Um, and I am more than willing to um, hang out and do chain mail um, over Zoom whenever you guys feel like it. Um, did anybody have any questions, comments, concerns? Speak to my manager. That's Beetle. So speak to Beetle. <laughs> nope, we're all good. All right, I'm ending the recording. Correct.